God in His Word has given us not all the details of how this is going to unfold, but the fact that there will be an end to the world as we know it. You may have seen that dramatic video of hundreds of birds literally falling from the sky into a neighborhood. What on earth was going on? So at this point, they believe it's just a coincidence that these two fish washed up on shore during the same month. But they do want everybody to remember, if you come across something like this, to please reach out to lifeguards. Local scientists are releasing more information about a rare fish recently seen at Black's Beach. Researchers say this type of fish usually lives thousands of feet deep in the Pacific Ocean, and they don't know how or why this one ended up on our shore. This is the stuff of nightmares, some would say, but take a look, a rare fish out there. Look at that. It is usually found 2,000 feet beneath the sea where sunlight doesn't penetrate. Weird, weird looking deep sea fish has popped up along San Diego Beach in the last three weeks. Lifeguards in Encinitas discovering this Pacific football fish on the beach last Friday. The unusual discoveries are giving Scripps researchers a better understanding of our ocean. good versus evil by battling it out, but the Bible gives us God's authoritative word about where society is headed, where the world is headed, and how Christ really will come one day to bring peace on earth. I think A flock of birds dropped dead from the sky mid-flight. Police say hundreds of yellow-headed blackbirds died. There's been all kinds of speculation about what caused that. Can you believe that? So this is a flock of yellow-headed blackbirds crashing to the ground by the hundreds on a random street in Mexico last week in uh, Chihuahua. Boom. Here we go. There oh we go. Oh my gosh. Seemingly dropped dead mid-flight. Chihuahua City incredible? Police. Maybe we'll show this again here. Local authorities, they, they can't... There it is. Look at that. That is bizarre. Uh, they don't know exactly the reason behind this. Authorities still don't know what caused their death. Yeah. That is a lot of birds that just fell from the sky. Uh, beautiful birds too, so very unfortunate situation there. Uh, I cannot believe that. Like that is insane. Oh, trying to see on that video if Alfred Hitchcock walked by at any point. <laughs> that is crazy. Wildlife officials are investigating why dozens of crows died scattered around the federal courthouse. Waiting on results after dozens of dead crows. Tonight, experts are working to figure out why it happened. Reminiscent of scenes from the Alfred Hitchcock classic, crows are constantly covering downtown trees. No one yet knows what caused the death of a number of crows in downtown St. Louis. Missouri Department of Conservation spokesperson tells Fox 2 News the situation is very unusual. About 50 dead crows were reported at Creepcore Lake this past weekend, too. It does remain a mystery, and for some folks, a symbol in literature. Dead crows are often associated with loneliness, despair, and misfortune. I don't know if I'm going to go that far, but it is weird, Randy. Let's take a look in a shocking and bizarre discovery in the New River Valley today. We're told. Radford University students found at least 55 American robins dead on the ground this week. The Southwest Virginia Wildlife Center was able to save two birds, which are recovering well. And there's no word on the exact cause, but one idea is that they died from trauma. Roger Holloway, the executive director of the World Bird Sanctuary, says a die-off of many animals of the same species indicates a problem. A spokesperson for the Missouri Department of Conservation says the birds weren't physically injured and had no signs of blood. That rules out an attack or shooting.
According to Frable, in a timely coincidence, two weeks earlier, an even rarer find washed up on Torrey Pine State Beach, a Pacific football fish, better known as a deep sea angler. Believe it or not, this is the second football fish to show up on a San Diego beach in two months. A beachgoer took this picture at Black's last month, and in early December, a deep sea lancet fish was found in La Jolla. So why are these creatures from the deep washing up on our shores? Ah, uh, that's, a, that's a question that I wish I knew the answer to as well. I can say this probably is not related to any sort of freak event. It's been described as the worst blow to wildlife in Israel's history. The World Organization for Animal Health has warned of an increase in outbreaks, with avian flu hitting more than 40 countries in the past six months. What is still mysterious about this particular spread? At first, about two weeks ago when they discovered the disease, about 50 to 100 dead cranes were identified here. Within a few days, the numbers reached thousands, and today there are about 5,000 to 6,000. A health expert says that this figure is unprecedented. 39 other countries are reporting bird flu outbreaks. They're culling thousands of birds to stop the flu from spreading. Some studies have also emerged. They say that the bird flu is becoming more lethal. It is worsening every year. What explains this? The scope of the current outbreak in Israel is massive. And we see that it, it, it's not stopping in the wild animals. While mass infections are an annual occurrence, and the transmission of the H5N1 variant only rarely spreads to humans, scientists are researching why this year's outbreak has been so severe in certain areas. Doctor, the virus has made the jump from wildlife from these migratory animals and cranes to stock animals, things like chickens and turkeys that are now being culled, could it again make the jump to humans? Bird flu has become an annual phenomenon, but this time scientists say something's different. In other news, the UK Health Security Agency has confirmed someone in Britain has contracted the H5 bird flu. The agency says the unidentified person tested positive after coming into close contact with infected birds, marking the first human case of a H5 type bird flu. For one, we are called to stay close to God and to realize that the greatest calling Christ had when he came was to save us from our sin, to save us from death, to give us a way to be forgiven by God so that we could be right by God, right with God. So I think that's the big thing. But also Jesus talked about birth pains. And even though as a man I've never experienced birth pains, my wife has helped me to understand a bit that with birth pains, they're very mild initially and they're, er they're, they're erratic and when they come, but they intensify and become more regular the closer to the birth of the baby. Obviously giving birth for a woman is a very difficult experience and yet once she has given birth, the joy of that child and the beauty of bringing life and new life into the world allows her to quickly forget the pain of childbirth. Well, that's an analogy Jesus has given us that things will get worse and it'll back off a while. Things will get worse and it'll back off and it'll become more and more intense the closer we come to his second coming. But when he comes, and there is judgment on evil, and there is peace on earth, there's gonna be tremendous joy that all of us can anticipate, so you don't wanna miss out on that.